everyone hope you're doing well in today's video i'm going to show you how to put together this astronav 2.0 gimbal base so let's get right into the video this video is proudly sponsored by pcbway whether you're making a custom flight stick controller a pcb for your next electronics project or even 3d printing parts for your setup pcbway has you covered they offer a wide range of services such as pcb fabrication assembly cnc machining sheet metal work and even 3d printing which i personally use and all with great quality and fast turnaround. Right now, they've got some awesome October specials, including a free purple solder mask all month long, up to 40% off TPU 3D printing, and if you print any TPU part that weighs over 64 grams, you could receive up to 40% off. Plus, great prices on PLA white 3D printing. It's definitely worth checking out, so if you're working on your next DIY project, head over to PCBWay.com and check out their latest promotions on their main page. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Alrighty, let's put this thing together now, shall we? Let's start off um, just talking a bit about where you'll need some heated inserts. So, on this is the, I call this the uh, shaft arm I think and you got four inserts in the top and I'll put um, I'll have a guide for you guys like a PDF that you guys can follow along with so I don't have to like memorize everything and I'll do that later but I'll link that somewhere so I'll just point out where the heated inserts are so you got four up the top here for the um, connection point you have one M4 for your uh, th throttle friction clamp type thing and there's another one at the very bottom for your um, pitch uh, it's a pitch cam roller so that's the four five six that goes on this arm the stick arm here is the uh, roll block one you have two at the top for mounting to the top plate and then you got four in there where you uh, screw in your sensor here's the roll block two and you've just got the two on the top here is pitch block one so you've got four for screwing on the other half you've got three m uh, 1M4 and 2M3s inserts there and then you'll have one to screw down this roll cam bearing <coughs> on the pitch uh, half 2 is just the 2 for mounting your sensor there will be one in this little assembly for your friction uh, clamp there's just one that goes in there so you can screw on this aluminium uh, tube and then there'll be eight four on the top here and four on the bottom oh and in the top plate you'll have four here for mounting your deflection limiters so we will go through we'll start off with the uh, pitch assembly so what you want to gonna do is wire up your harness if you've decided to go with a Arduino or if you've decided to go with my Arduino board for easily just plugging things in and out you'll wire that up to your mini din and I'll put a uh, picture up on the screen showing where the wires where you want to solder the wires you want to put your diametric magnet in there and that's this bit here after you put your inserts in you'll put a diametric magnet in the front of this one this is the pitch half one and you'll want to get your I believe these are 6803 uh, 2RS bearings they're a bit larger I've moved on from the skate bearings but I'll probably still design a version that allows uh, you to use skate size bearings if you're interested in that sort of thing but I've moved on to using these ones and they're a bit nicer quality and smoothness so you put one in each half 
and then you'll grab your arm you'll place it so the magnet side is facing towards you from I'm sure you can uh, you'll get that and then you grab your other half and then you simply just place that on there and you'll grab four M3 by eight and you'll pop them in there and we'll screw this in really quick. All right, now that we've got that, we'll um, install the friction assembly. That's, you see how it looks like that. You'll grab your, um, I'm not sure what to call this bit, but it's the bit with your aluminium uh, pipe or tube. You'll see that it's keyed, and all you wanna do is make, it, make sure that the screw side is facing down, just like that. Then you'll grab an M4 by 12 millimeter bolt, and you'll just screw that into place. Just like that. And now you want to get this little bit, which just allows you to clamp down the lever with two M3 by eight. And you'll screw that in here. There we go. And then you want to get your uh, clamp arm. I'm still working out which mm, uh, adhesive material I should use to increase the friction, but once I sort that out, I'll list it somewhere, and you'll just cut a strip of that and uh, stick it on the inside of this lever. You also want to get, uh, you, you'll need to print a little spacer, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little red spacer, it doesn't have to be red, just, you know what I mean. And there's an M4 by 12 millimeter in there, so you just put that on like this, and screw that in my insert's a bit loose I think I fixed that in the file though and then you'll grab another M4 by 12 and you'll screw it in the top here and this is what lets you clamp it down I've ended up clamping mine down all the way just because I haven't figured out the right foam but that works pretty well. And that's how you get your throttle. If you don't want to use this as a throttle, you'll just leave this whole assembly off. Or you can have it on there if you want um, some sort of uh, smoothness, I guess. But it's, it won't be necessary if you run it as just a regular joystick. So now that we've got this, we'll get our little uh, sensor here. I believe this is a AS5600 sensor. You'll need to print this little mount here and just you just pop it in there. Make sure you wire up your um, connectors and a little resistor in there. I'll put a diagram, diagram up on the screen for you and you'll get that. Make sure your diametric magnet is already placed inside that and you'll just Pop it on like that and use two M3 by eight millimeters again. Just like this. Make sure that's in place. Great. And don't forget to screw in your uh, bearing, your cam bearing there. Great, so now we can move on to setting it up in the roll um, block. You grab your top plate. Um, I've left my deflection limiter on. This is a 20 degree circular um, limiter. The original is a 30 degrees and it's a square. So we'll grab this, we'll grab our roll block one, make sure our bearings in there, um, make sure you got your heated inserts in there, and then in the top you'll grab your 
an M4 by 20 and you want to screw down whatever spring that you've decided to go with so you just grab this make sure that the sensor mount is facing away from this hole so it'll be like this now I'm going to screw this in with some M3 by 8s again like this great you'll want to get your assembly actually before we do that we'll grab our roll cam if you're running as a throttle if you're running as a regular joystick you'll grab your pitch cam and you'll screw it in there uh, when you do this whole section but uh, we'll get the roll cam this is the aviation profile but I might have to change it depending on how it feels aviation should be more of a harder center detent and then I've got the space uh, cam which is a bit rounder and smooth so we'll place that in there like that and we'll grab our M5 by 30 nice grab your assembly here stick the shaft through and make sure the magnet side is on where your sensor mount is towards the front now it's going to be a bit finicky but you'll grab your roll uh, block 2 I think it's called place it so the magnet side is in sit that on like that and you want to screw it in to these top two right next to the deflection limiter and that's 2 M3 by 8 millimeter okay so that's in that now it's all sloppy we'll get our cam here you'll get an M4 by 20 you'll feed it through your spring and then you'll want to finagle your screw into the cam just like this great and if you have another spring which I would probably recommend and you just go on like this and you just slide it over the top now you can put some uh, nuts, some nylon nuts on there or you could flip this around so it's a bit easier to put the nuts on it's up to you however you want to do it but there we go this is the joystick and I've updated the cams and they feel pretty good actually so that's a plus now what you want to do is grab your other AS5600 sensor um, you can see the uh, connectors already there and you'll get your resistor and connectors to the GPO and the voltage you get that cables down or up it's up to you whatever you think looks neater and remember remember to put the uh, diametric magnet in there grab your M3 by 4 millimeter and just screw it on there great so now that we have that done that is the gimbal main gimbal portion all assembled you've got your sensors installed you've got your mini din cable installed we can put this to the side here is the shell or cover and I've already got the bottom plate screwed on I've got my I don't know how well you can see that, but that is the custom PCB that I got from PCBWay. Thanks for sponsoring this video again. And I've just got a USB-C connector that I've soldered up another USB-C connector to plug into the Arduino. And down there is some connectors. So ideally you can take you can leave the bottom plate off to make this easier for you. Which um I might or might not do but basically you just want to plug in your connectors in there and you'll be good to screw everything together so I'll just all those are in um, 
um, just like that. I don't know how well you can see that. And then you just pop it on and screw it in. The time of putting this one together compared to the first stick is much quicker. Um, I believe that this design makes it a lot more user friendly or maker friendly. It's a lot um, quicker and easier. Parts just fit together and it, having the PCBs definitely does make life a whole lot easier. Still a bit of soldering involved but not quite as tedious as the first Astronav gimbal. And once you got that one on there, slap your deflection limiter on there if you want. And what you're left with is a pretty solid Astronav 2.0 gimbal base. <laughs>